single leg RDL to row. I have a cable column set up here at the lowest setting. Um, if you're somebody that's at home and you have limited equipment, you can use a resistance band anchored around something low, um, or you can use like a, like a weight or something, like a dumbbell to where you're just reaching out in front of you. You just won't have as much of the rowing effect when you stand up, because obviously when you stand up, you're kind of losing gravity working against you. We're gonna use this position to kind of train in through hip flexion and train into hip extension with a knee bent when I'm in hip flexion to a knee extended or a knee straight when I'm in hip extension. And then adding that resistance band or the cable adds rotation into the hip as well. So we can get our foot and our hip kind of working, try to resist that motion as well as, well as our trunk. When I get set up, it doesn't really take a lot of weight just be due, due to the nature of the rotation you're trying to resist and then trying to maintain your balance by being on one leg. But I wanna emphasize the higher I bring this top leg, the more I'm gonna feel it in my glute as long as my bottom leg is straight and I'm not leaning back. So I wanna get nice and tall, push my foot into the ground, bring this leg up, fire my glute, hinge, bend my knee, I'm gonna kick back behind me. I'm gonna reach forward with my weight. So this is my hinge position. So this is my RDL. And then I'm gonna come out of the RDL, I'm gonna row and I'm gonna straighten this leg and drive my right leg up at the same time. Now, a lot of times people will lean back. As they lean back, they're kind of taking away the load in their glute and they're putting it into their hip flexor. We want the load to be into your glute. So stay nice and tall, come back out of it, drive back to that top position, knee up, load the glute. Be mindful that you're controlling your breathing on each rep, you're not holding your breath, you're not bearing down. And again, it's really important that you're not cheating through your back or leaning back at the top because for the third time or fourth time, whatever it is, we wanna load the glute. So hinge the bottom, kind of pause, my knees bent. I'm gonna drive up into extension in my glute, bottom leg straight, knee up as I row.